615, how many nights a week would you say you get a good night's sleep? Four, five, for thousands of kids in Western New York, the answer is zero. According to the local organization Sleep in Heavenly Peace, 10,000 kids in Western New York do not have a bed to sleep in. They say that can have significant effect on kids. They can develop hyperactivity issues as young as five from a lack of sleep. Teenagers, poor sleep can lead to anxiety and depression. But Sleep in Heavenly Peace is trying to flip that script and bring a good night's sleep to every child in western New York. So this morning, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps is live to explain how. Taylor, good morning to you. Ed and Katie, good morning. You know, growing up, all I wanted was a really cool bunk bed with Powerpuff Girls sheets so I could have a sleepover with all of my friends and, you know, be the cool kid. Well, here at Sleep in Heavenly Peace, they build dream beds like that for local kids, and they look a little bit like this. And we're here talking about Sleep Awareness Week, and the fact of the matter is, like you mentioned, there are thousands of kids in our area who don't have a bed to sleep in. So we're joined this morning by Rick and Jerry from Sleep in Heavenly Peace, who can tell us a little bit more about it. Thank you guys for being here with us this morning. Oh, sure. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. It's really uh, been great, uh, the relationship we built with you and WKBW and how you've supported us, so thank you. Um, so yes, we, we started our chapter uh, delivering our first beds last August, and um, to date we've delivered almost 350 beds. Wow. And um, it's only been, we've only been able to do that because of the community engagement we've had and, and the support of the sponsors who helped fund making these beds. So. We want to just thank everybody in our community for helping us fill a need that really wasn't a lot of awareness about. And, you know, what's the impact for, as far as Sleep Awareness Week goes, for kids having that bed and that comfortable place to sleep? So March is, is Sleep Awareness Month that was started by the National Sleep Foundation actually back in 1988. And, and we, we want to focus on highlighting how important sleep is for a child's development. They behave better in school. They're more attentive. They learn much better in, in, if they have a good night's sleep. And you know, many of the kids that we're helping are usually sleeping on a floor. They're sleeping on some blankets. They're sleeping on a, an air mattress that may or may not be inflated because it has a hole in it. Um, but when we deliver a bed, it changes their lives. It makes makes things a lot better for the children. Wow, Jerry, you know, that's really, really tough to hear that so many kids are sleeping on the floor. And I know you mentioned they get about 70 applications for people who need beds every month. And they also need volunteers here to make sure they can get beds to all those kids. So coming up in our next half hour, I'll show you how they do things here in the building operation and how you can help them. For now, we're live in Williamsville, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News. And Taylor's been posting about this all morning long on Twitter, and she's also got a great article up right now on WKBW.com. So many people, I'm sure, looking and hoping to help here. Yeah, well, it, you just don't think about it. You right. think about it, and then you, you put into perspective what it's like to watch a little child go to sleep on the floor or on a blanket, you know? So we can do better than that. Uh, so yeah, 10,000 kids. Can you yeah. imagine? Yeah. So let's make sure we all help out. All of that information right now shared on our website.